Guys, I f***ed up. So a couple of weeks ago, I was filming a video for my friend Josh, who is an artist. We were filming some spoken word poetry and I was filming on the A7 III in the woods here in East London. But my footage came out very noisy, as you can see, because I made the foolish mistake foolish mistake of leaving my ND filter on my lens when we got into the woods and I was also shooting at S-Log2 which has an 800 base ISO so my ISO was quite high and you might be thinking oh my god you're shooting on the a7 III which is really good for low light what's going on basically the camera has a denoise function that kicks in right around the 5000 ISO range and I think I was a little bit below that but I managed to turn the footage from this to this and today i'm going to show you exactly how i did that and also show you my color grading workflow hopefully you guys learned something new on today's quick tip tuesdays welcome back to the quick tip tuesdays now this channel is about stepping up your production quality i'm giving you tips on how to make your videos look nicer make your productions better but i truly don't believe that i am the best color grader out there. I'm not a colorist. It's actually my weakest skill in video editing and filmmaking, but I'm quite happy with how things came out in that project. So I thought I'd share my wisdom. And if you guys are on the same level as I am, maybe you can learn something new. And if you want to roast me in the comments, tell me what I did wrong, help yourself. That way we can all learn together. And if you're down there in the comments, why don't you give the video a like if it brings you some value and maybe even subscribe if you haven't already. So we're going to be working with this segment here. And like I said at the beginning, I shot this in the S-Log2 picture profile because I wanted to capture as much of the highlights from the sky and as much of the shadows as possible. If you look at the Lumetri scopes, which shows you your highlights, your shadows and your colors. If 50 is kind of like mid exposure, we're kind of just a little bit under that. Usually you want to overexpose using S-Log2, but I think because I had the ND filter and my ISO was really high, I was like, what the hell is going on? So I kind of left it like that. But it's not too bad, we can work with this. But if we actually look at the footage, you can see it's very, very noisy. And I looked at that and I was like, F <laughs> So I progressed with my regular color grading workflow, which is to firstly always have your Lumetri scopes open. So as you can see, we have two adjustment layers. The first adjustment layer is going to be the color correction layer. So here I'm going to correct the colors, correct the exposure, make sure that everything looks how it should be. And then my other layer is my creative layer where I throw in my LUT, maybe adjust the sharpening and kind of just play in a creative way with the colors. So if we start with the bottom adjustment layer, I'm going to go to Lumetri Color. And if I go to the color wheels and match, this is where I change my shadows, midterms, and highlights. As you can see in the Lumetri scopes, our colors are pretty much compressed. And what we're gonna do is wanna get as much of the dynamic range as we can. The first thing that you can do is you can increase the highlights, make sure they don't clip, make sure they don't exceed 100, then I'll get to this edge. And then you can take down your midtones and then take down your shadows. Again, same thing, make sure your shadows don't clip. And now, right now we've extended our exposure. So if you look at the scopes, we started very compressed and now we've actually extended it a little bit more. Usually I play around with this, uh, maybe I even go to the basic correction and play around with it a bit more to get some more highlight, put the shadows down, etc. But as it is right now, this to me looks well exposed. If you look at it beforehand and look at it afterwards, you see that we've actually corrected the exposure. In terms of white balance, I don't think I need to do anything. The shirt looks white. And in terms of saturation, I can maybe increase that a little bit. Our colors are looking a bit more natural now. If I just press play, you know, it looks like how it's meant to be. If I pause it here, you can see that we still have quite a significant amount of noise. You can see it's ridiculously noisy. And now what I did in this process was I used a denoise effect, which is free. It comes with Premiere Pro. I know there are plugins that you can get, you can pay for to get a more accurate denoising feature, but this one worked for me and I'm gonna show you how I used it. So if I go to my effect controls, I go to my effects and I search noise. And in immersive video, we have VR denoise. So I want to drag this above my Lumetri color. Uh, and as you can see, as soon as we slap it, it went from noise central to smooth village. <laughs> so it's clear that there's too much denoising going on. Everything's very soft, very smooth. And it kind of, I don't even know what it's doing here, but it's kind of merging everything together. And the noise level is at 0 0.2. So I set it in my video as 0 0.02 which for me was a nice balance between being smooth and soft and getting rid of the noise. If I get rid of the denoise effect, you can see all of the noise. 
And if I add 0.02, you can see we've actually smoothed it out. If you wanted to, you can make it 0.03, 0.04. You can bring it up, but you see the problem here is that now it becomes very blocky. It doesn't look very natural. Some noise is okay. Too much noise is not okay. So you're trying to find a balance here. My balance for me came at 0.02. So if I play this, you can see that we've gone from having very noisy footage to having very nice and smooth footage without it being too soft and too blotchy with too much denoising. For me, that made me very happy because I went from having messed up my footage to actually manage to recover it and fix it. So yeah, that's pretty much how we get rid of noise in the video. Let me carry on now with my color grading process. The next layer is my creative layer. So if I go to Lumetri Color uh, and I go to my creative tab, I'm now going to apply the LUT that I want to apply to this video. Now I knew the kind of look that I wanted. I wanted it to be a bit moody because it's telling a story about somebody that he met. So here I applied one of my LUTs, which I made myself and you can find in the description below if you're interested. And what this LUT does is it actually turns all the greens into orange and it makes everything that's blue a slightly bit more teal. And it kind of gives this kind of autumn look. And you can see it's already much more dramatic. We not only get a color contrast from the blue of his jacket and the orange of the leaves, but I feel like the overall look complements the story that we're trying to tell. So a quick tip, if you're going to choose a look, a LUT, don't just find whatever lot and just throw it in have an idea of the kind of look that you want to get is it going to be very dark is it going to be very bright and sunny or do you want it to pop and draw your attention to the characters in the video so i'm happy with what i got here i do things a bit strong in the eyes so i'm going to tone it down just a little bit now remember that when we added the denoise effect our image became very soft and smooth so one of the things i'm going to add now is some sharpening by the way if you ever get this message saying this effect requires gp acceleration that's just because you're stacking lumetric color on top of each other so to add sharpening you just simply increase the dial here and basically sharpening makes all of your outlines stand out a little bit more if you can see here on his collar if i increase the sharpening you can see that the collar becomes a bit more defined. If I decrease it back to zero, you can see before and that is after. I'm gonna go for a nice balance right around here. So now that that's done, I just pre-rendered this and as you can see, everything looks way nicer than it did at the beginning. And, and that's pretty much how I color grade all of my videos. I know there are some professional guys out there looking at this video and going, what is he doing? And if that's the case, feel free to let me know in the comments below any tips or advice or things that you think might look nicer. So with all that being said, that is how I fixed my noisy S-Log2 footage. I hope this video brought you some value. If it did, consider leaving it a like. If you have any questions, make sure you leave them down below because I read every single comment. If this video brought you value, consider subscribing, maybe looking at other videos I have on this channel. Some of them might help you out. If they do, then, uh, you know, let me know. I appreciate it. And I appreciate you for watching this video. If you got to the end. With all that being said and done, I'll see you in the next video.